I was trying to convince the committee of what it was going to be like. No one had been to an Olympics before. So up until opening day ceremonies, I think I was the only person who knew what was going to happen. And it happened. The, the dream became a reality. I stood there, I, I was crying along with everyone else, but I was looking at the other faces and they were just overwhelmed. Uh, they suddenly realized what it was all about. The athletes came in and there were 175 cities carrying their placards with the names of the cities on them and people just broke up. There was a continuous applause. The, the audience walked out of there with blisters on their hands. Um, I talked to people afterwards who said they cried for an entire week every time they thought about it. And we show the, some of the, uh, the video clips which you so kindly provided to us. Thank you to people and all they have to do is hear five words of uh, the anthem or see three placards with names on them and they begin weeping. So the, the, the formula for success was visibility and identity and both were right there on the field. We were visible and we were identified. And what did people see? They saw healthy people out there doing something that everyone could understand. They were out there to compete and have fun. Success. That's what the first gay games were all about.